For this lab, we're asking the question, does cereal provide a nutritious meal? Or a complete meal, if you want to think of it that way. For this lab, I'm going to need some cereal labels. You can get these from the internet, just cereal labels of your choice, or on a box of cereal that's in your cupboard. I'm also going to pick up the handout here that will help me analyze uh, cereal and what's on those labels. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the cereal labels and compare them with the nutrition information here on this chart, the recommended daily allowance information. In order to see if cereal provides a complete meal, I'm going to create four graphs. The first graph is going to be about calories, the total calories. Calories I should get in a meal and calories I get from a serving of cereal. The second graph is going to compare carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, macronutrients. Nutrients. The third and fourth graph are going to compare more micronutrients, things like sodium, vitamin A in the third one, and the fourth one will have a whole bunch of real small things like uh, thymine and riboflavin and things like that. So I'm going to make four graphs and use those graphs to compare and see if cereal has a complete meal. Now, the cereals that I chose, I tried to pick one that was a relatively healthy cereal, Raisin Bran, and one that's considered not so healthy, Cocoa Puffs. Because I wanna see, are healthy cereals any better for you? And are unhealthy cereals really that bad? So we wanna take a look at some of those numbers and see like what to do with those numbers. To set up my graph, I opened a new sheet in numbers. I filled out the top with the column information that I want and the side with the serial information that I want. I'm then just gonna click and drag to um, select all that, to highlight it. I'm gonna click chart and then I'm gonna click bar graph. I have a bar graph, but it's not right. To make it right, I'm going to select edit data references and I'll select plot rows as series. Now, I have the carbohydrates, the fats, and the proteins together. And I have the recommended daily allowance, raisin bran, and cocoa puffs together. One of the things I'm definitely gonna wanna change is some of the colors. So for example, I want the recommended daily allowance to be red. So I've just selected the bar, style, color fill, and in this case, I want it to be red. And add a title. In this case, we're gonna title it macronutrients. So I wanna make sure I have the macronutrients on there. If I do keep the legend, I'm gonna move it to a place where it's not in the way. So I might move it to the bottom here and retitle this macronutrients. So I'm just gonna double click on that. And now I have a better looking graph and a more complete picture of the data that I have. So here's my first graph with the total calorie information. Here's my second graph with the carbohydrate, fats, and proteins information. And I'm working on this third graph and beginning to fill in some of these numbers. So for Raisin Bran, vitamin A, I got 150, so I'm just going to type that in there. And for calcium, I got 180, so I'll type that in there. And for sodium, I got 350, so I'll type that in there. And then for cocoa puffs, vitamin A, I got 150. For calcium, I got 300. And for sodium, I got 150. All right, so now that's my graph for micronutrients. Now, what I've been doing is once I got my graph set up, I just went up here to um, this little drop down menu and I'm just picking copy sheet. And now I have that sheet copied again and I'm going to adjust it for my final graph, which in this case will be things like vitamin D. We're going to add a vitamin C. We're going to have niacin. I'm going to need to add some columns. 
So after niacin, I have iron, and I'm going to have B1, and I'm going to have B2. So now I'm going to fill in the information, my new information, and as I do, my graph will change with that new information. Now you'll notice that it's automatically rounding for me. So you can adjust that if you want for your tables uh, to allow it to show more of those, uh, of those digits. Um, like if you wanted to include decimals, I'm just adjusting it on the side here so that it includes two decimals. That way, rather than having a zero, I'll have my actual number. Now I'm just gonna fill that in for Raisin Bran. So again, I'm just going based on my chart. Anytime I saw a percent on the label, I'm using a 0.25 for 25% and a 0.15 for 15% and a 0.1 for 10%. And once I get that information, I'll finish filling in my data. Once I finish filling in the data, uh, that's what I'm gonna submit for my assignment. These four graphs, turning them in.